So we have a test project here, um, and you you need to define a new uh, class. So you could call it uh, I don't know test. Um, it can get confusing where you should include obviously a package as you define new classes. Um, in this case, which is part of the videos in one of the resources for MathWorks, it says that you don't need to do that. So I did it exactly as that. It seems to work, but you can also define, um, like I said, a package, no problem. Uh, so just finish her up, and um, I'm going to go into the my existing uh, project. So um, you would define a new class file. Um, which would look something like uh, this and uh, essentially um, this is all defined in your um, in your uh, in that MathWorks video that I provide but it kinda goes kinda it does go kinda fast so I'll try to give you a brief rundown of how everything works um, in this case uh, for the video you need obviously a main uh, method <coughs> then you define your um, uh, project has to have obviously the uh, external j uh, your jar files which will reside on your build path so if you come under your your um, project do a right click properties and then look under um, your java build path you'll find your libraries um, and what you need to do is you need to define um, two or need to add two external um, jar files one is the stock uh, java builder jar file which can be found under your toolbox java builder jar residing there and then you have to define the jar file that your um, that that build process from within MATLAB will create so in this case I've, I've got a new uh, magic square jar file um, which can be found under magic square magic demo and then the uh, source file and again um, if that's kind of confusing I'll try to go back to um, where that is uh, yeah so as I said this is the um, magic square example that I built um, if you remember I did this way back when under the uh, MATLAB deploy tool build process and uh, created this new magic square um, folder and under your distrib you will find it will create this magic square jar file so that jar file needs to be on the uh, Eclipse projects um, uh, build path and there it is all right so those are certain things that you need to be aware of to include in your project um, and then you have your source code so um, you have to do your imports um, as defined here um, as well as the stock uh, import for the MathWorks Java builder uh, as well as um, define instantiate all your um, objects um, specifically your magic object um, and you have to include it in a try catch block because it will throw exceptions uh, you instantiate um, and then you can uh, create a new um, uh, object um, which you can call the original make square um, math or a MATLAB um, M file which again it was uh, this guy let me just uh, pull her up uh, and again this is where the file that we started with um, this one right here uh, which was part of the example uh, for the J builder or sorry the builder JA tool toolbox uh, okay so um, you can define a result uh, and then you can print out the uh, result um, but this is where it gets kind of wonky how MathWorks sets it up so let's say you define a math uh, your input variable you define a five you have to instantiate and create a new object we call in defined here using this uh, mw numeric array method 
uh, and uh, there's also the same idea as well as for output uh, for uh, a, a resulting um, objects as well and uh, <coughs> this is where they get um, created uh, and then you can define your um, new out object and then just cast it from the resulting <laughs> object I know it's kind of wonky that's why a lot of people are not fans of Java um, but anyhow uh, that's how math works is set it up and then uh, you do a try catch and then eventually you do want to dispose of all the uh, objects in a clean way and ob obviously you have to um, dispose of your object as well um, that's from the M file as well alright so hopefully I'll help you out um, you should be able to run it uh, successfully uh, as it will hopefully run here uh, and everything's all good um, that's a general rundown it, it is kinda hairy um, I don't know what to say but that's how MATLAB and Java work together um, there are some other limitations um, with it, um, and it's a fairly legacy type of uh, type of uh, architecture, I guess you could call it. And um, there are ways where you can build WAR files, so you can deploy these uh, Java Eclipse projects into something like a Tomcat or a JBoss. So you can do it, um, but it's 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 hairy. That's all I can leave it at. I'll talk to you later.